every game is a big game, but we can hear you guys in there. Just what is the impact of this one? Well, it was special. And, and you know, it, it, every game is a big game, honestly, because it's the next game. And we really had that mindset. I, I never want to oversell a game to our team. I, I want to make sure that they understand that we are paid the fee in the process that we do every day. If we can continue to do that process on what we do every day, you know, those small mundane things that nobody else wants to do, we feel like the victory will come when it's time for game day. How much does it mean to you as their coach to get to see that joy on their faces after a win like this? So proud, so proud. They work so hard. And like I told them out, because I told each and every coach, because I'm very demanding on my staff, and I told each and every player, and I love them and I appreciate them and all the work that we put in. We've only been at this thing for about 10 months, you know, putting it together and it's just uh, different people from different backgrounds and different things coming together. But we're all about the team. Together, everyone achieves more. And we played as a football team tonight. Very, very proud of our team tonight. Dan, I know you guys are focused on going one and over. You were on that team last year. You remember the game that you guys played against them. Did that come into play at any of you guys want to make sure you got some redemption as well? Uh, not really. You know, we, we had we had a mission to go one and zero. We went in the week prepared. The coach had a great game plan. We executed. We focused. We executed the plan. Put all our trust in the coach. They went out there and did our one eleven. You know, what else? <laughs> coach, you're uh, perfect uh, on Thursday night games. What is it about these Thursday night games? Are you guys uh, you, you guys just kind of got a system that's locked in? Yeah. Well, I tell you what, man. I, I I just I'm just grateful. I'm I'm super grateful to God be the glory, man, because. You know, it's hard when you come in the, into a place uh, with new people and new, new different ways of doing things. And we came together. And everybody had buy-in and belief. So I'm just grateful that everybody believed in our process, what we're all about. A's, B's, championship degrees, dig deep, pay the fee, the stuff we talk about every day. The mailman got to go to work. Rain, sleet, or snow, the mailman got to go to work. And our young men have bought into that. And I'm just grateful to be sitting here right now. Again, only thing we're thinking about is one and oh. We're going to enjoy this for 24 hours, and then we're going to get ready for the next one. Coach, uh, what was your message to the team since you talked about the comeback? I, I can't hear you. What was your message to the team since you talked about the comeback? Uh, Starting them to come back? As they started to come back, what was your message to the team? Oh, 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 just play the next play. Don't worry about what happened in the past. Just play the next play. All right, we can't control what happened before. All we can do is go play the next play. And I told them when I got to talk to the defense, I said, just win the down. Don't worry about the series. Just win the down. And they had the eye. They had the eye bulldogs. They were just locked and loaded uh, as I was looking at them. And, and Aaron kept tapping me on the on the, on the the waist and saying, Coach, we got it. We got it. And 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 uh, Caden High on offense, he tapped me and said, Coach, I got you. And before the game, we got it. We had a little chant we talked about. Who got my back? We got your back. Who got my back? We got your back. And we had each other's back today. And I'm very, very proud of this football team. Talk about uh, Eric and Caden. I mean, they really were in sync out there. I mean, your offense entirely, but those two in particular. Just talk about what they did for you guys tonight on offense. Well, well, they 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 understand the mission, and and they had a great week of practice. You know, for us, it's about you know taking advantage of opportunities. We have playmakers on offense, as you guys can see. We have guys that can play uh, and, and play really really well. And it's Eric's job is to distribute the ball to the playmakers. I mean, we have pretty much what we wanted all entire night. You know, whether it was running the ball, throwing the ball, screen game, I thought we did a good job of managing the offense. I thought Eric did a good job of not turning over other than that one. All right, he wanted that back, but we didn't we didn't uh, leave or, or waver from him. We let him continue to play the game, but we found a way to be the good North Carolina Central football team. Since your defense looked dominating in the first half, and then the second half, that one seemed like one thing turned it all around. And here comes Central coming back on you. Were you surprised that it changed that much that quickly? Well, the problem with those plays, they were big plays. They happened so fast. You know, they weren't driving the length of the field. And all it takes is somebody to have bad eyes and things of that nature. But I have total faith and confidence in my defense staff and my defensive players. And they found a way. All we talk about is winning the down. I right, found a way to win the down. And I thought we played some really, really good defense today, especially in that first half. Gave up a couple big plays in the second half. But it's football, right? They got a team – coaches on salary and they got players with guys on scholarship too so you know they're going to make a few plays and i told our guys going into the game you know they're going to make plays keep playing we're going to make plays keep playing but just play the next play don't worry about the last play control the controllables and we'll be all right and we'll find victory we we did just that dennis you're a one and old guy i know mm -hmm. you're going to hate this question mm -hmm. these are the two best teams in the meac it, it sounded like and looked like to all of us that whoever wins this game has at least got the inside track to win the conference. 
one and oh. I mean, I, I, I won't even change it. I mean, one and oh. We're going to enjoy this for, for 24 hours, and we got to go to the nation's capital up in Washington, D.C. to be the defending uh, MEAC champion. So, you know, it doesn't get easier for us. We're going to we're gonna enjoy this. Trust me, winning is hard. So we're going to enjoy this one for 24 hours. And then we're going to put this one to bed, and then we're going to get ready for a good Howard University football team. You know, talking about 1-0, Aaron, you've been in before where you guys have had the lead and, and lost it. How much more does that make what the coach says to you guys make sense to you knowing that, you know, you've been here before? Uh, coaches talk about, you know, surrendering the outcome and following the process. So really bought into the 1-0 and scheme and digging deep and paying the fee. So it means even more now because we feel that we feel the things that coach says that he talks about every day. Like, he preaches it. So, like, being there, you know, having it all and then losing it all, we really – Understand that it's the mundane things, you know what I'm saying? Not worrying about the outcome, but falling in love with the process. A lot of people don't want to fall in love with the process. They don't want to go the long days, the, the, the early mornings, you know what I'm saying? So just falling in love with the process and surrendering the outcome. It's going, it's going, it's going to want to know, baby. That's it. Aaron, what does it feel like to be a player in this locker room this year, especially after a win over Kentucky? It feels great, you know, to help lead the team to a victory, a hard fought win, you know. Uh, it just. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's immaculate. Coach, obviously you have that relationship with, with Coach Oliver. Just talk about what you guys talked about at midfield there at the end. That kind of a little extra long hug. Well, we, first of all, we hugged each other and told each other we love each other. Because we do. That's my friend. And, and we're going to continue to be friends. And we knew it was going to be a ball game. You know, we had those kind of battles when we were coordinators together at Southern University. So we've been going at it for a long time. And I kind of know him, and he kind of knows me. And at the end of the day, it's about these players, though. You know, at the end of the day, it's about get, putting these players in the best position to be successful. And I was so proud of our young men today. They played so tough and so hard, so fast and so physical, and they played with great confidence. And when you have confidence, watch out. But uh, I'll tell you what, Trey, Trey and I have been together, uh, friends for a long time. We're both HBCU guys. We've been HBCU our whole entire careers. He played at North Carolina Central. I played at Savannah State. And we've been coaching about 30 years now on the HBCU level. And, and we're at a great, two great institutions. He's at North Carolina Central. I'm here at the South Carolina State University. And what a great day. And I'm so glad to be here. I got another question you're going to hate. Coach Pugh at halftime got out there representing the 74 team, pointed to the uh, scoreboard, the um, press box at 18 MEAC champ. When you came here, you talked about tradition, the tradition of South Carolina State, one to get it back on track where it was before. This is a giant step, is it not, to beat the best other team in the conference so far? Yeah, it's definitely a giant step. But, you know, I tell you what, it was a big game because it was the next game. I mean, it really was. We knew that North Carolina Central was picked by all the, the people that, you know, do all the picking that they were going to win the league, you know. And, and they, play, they had us somewhere down there. About four, but I keep receipts though. Just know that I keep receipts. I don't throw them away. But uh, they, they had us somewhere down there at the bottom. But that's okay. Still got to go play the game. And uh, you know, coming in, like I say, this is only month number ten uh, that I've been here and uh, putting the staff together first and foremost of guys with shared values, like minded. You know, guys that come together. Then you got to put a team together. You got the current players. The foundation was already here with Aaron Smith, a Nick Taste, a Eric Brown. Those guys were already here. They were already hungry, but they had to find out who was this new coach coming in town. You're talking about Coach Pugh been here for 22 years, you know. Who's this new guy? And they had to fall in love and believe in the process. And I truly believe they've done that. They've taken it in. And what great leadership I have. Those guys are part of my leadership council, man. And they, they're great young men. They're great students. They're great people. They're great leaders. And I'm just grateful to be their head football coach. Appreciate it. Go dogs. Love you, man. Let's get it. One and all.